Oh, man, I just... Man, a mole rush, mole rush thing here. It looks like they have their units picked out. We're not going to see until we get into the game, but here we go. Game number two, Wobbly Wobbles versus Cross Channel Frogs. Cross Channel Frogs coming up one and zero. And on the east side of the map, meanwhile, Wobbly Wobbles taking place here on the southwest. They basically just change places right now here. They just swap spots as the map changes around them. And what kind of a map am I looking at here? This... This is Turtle City. Wow, okay. If um, I were a turtle, I'd live here and be happy forever. That is true. It would make turtles very happy. Uh, Alright, so, I mean, the mill count, all the mills here are surrounded by water and land bridges. There's really, most of the easy mills are on the side of Bank Mango and Levy Dog, so they, can, they have a chance to reinforce their economy, but Josh and Bree Post are just surrounded by water. Yeah, they don't really have uh, any easy expansions. So they have we'll one see. easy expansion to go for. But that's yeah. pretty much it. <laughs> it's the gonna rest be a are bit of in internal fighting over <laughs> You see guesses. Josh? He's like, do I want to scout out? Nope, nope, too much, tr too much water. 7.8 out of 10, too much water. No way that he's going to scout out that far north in that direction. It's going to move way too yeah, slowly here. Although it's interesting because there's one single mill up north on the little peninsula, right? so... You could go for it! <laughs> I don't think anyone is going to unless they're, you know, they feel like they need to. Yeah, but imagine because no one feels like scouting to so much water if you <laughs> get that mill. It just means you have to do a little bit of work on your own. You have to charge the water to get there. Yeah, it would be the ultimate Deadbone style base. It's it's easy protection, you know. You can see things are far away. Oh boy. Oh boy. In the meantime, we do see a nice little defensive setup here. Reflux has already put up a machine gun nest on the top here, and how both sides have a nice reinforcement of units. In the meantime, Living Dog and Big Mother are be going just taking this one a little bit slowly. The failure of the mole rush last time fresh in their mind still. They are going to be going for the squirrel and lizard play as well, and they also have toads in the background. Meanwhile, Repost and Josh going for really greedy builds. I'm just taking a look at their draft right now, and they're going for a really greedy kind of play. Wait, mostly tier 2s and structures, and tier 3, both of them taking owls, and Repost taking double tier 3s. Like, do they have the economy to do this? Yeah, that's an issue for them on this map. They really have to be careful about how to spend the resources uh, there. I mean, I mean, there are plenty of mills on the map for them to take, but they, all, they also mean they have to be very proactive in how they defend them. And the ones in the middle of the water here, they're not very easy to defend. Especially uh, with how it... close Bank Mango is to that river. Yeah, if they keep their armies together, they could have a big enough force to defend any attempts of expanding although um not sure that even that that's will work well looks like we're gonna be geared up for a very very long game here it looks like neither side willing to go for any aggression whatsoever although josh he will be putting down some mines just in case they decide to go for it right in front of the bridge too so very little room for them to escape from the mine. And right now, both sides just shoring up their army. Brepost is going for a very early owl. And he gets his owl out. This could be a very dangerous thing indeed. Yeah, that could be their, the breakthrough they need to expand outside their little island here. Oh, I was I was so worried that I thought my computer, one of my monitors died for a second, but part of my background, my desktop background is black, so I saw that for a second, wait, why is it all black? But no, the rest of the windows are covering it. So I'm good, my computer's oh. fine. Don't worry guys, we're, we're in here for the long haul. Okay, so <laughs> uh, Josh decided to take that mill up there in the north. Uh, oh, so boy. Oh, Alright! No one, no one's gonna scout that. 
And he can, just, be... he, can just, he can just teleport that, get easy 8 farm economy for himself, and build up his army really easily because of that. Yeah, that's gonna be a huge advantage for him. Whoa, well, I just heard a scream. Who screamed? <laughs> Someone screamed. I'm not really sure who it was. But in any case, so we're here. Both sides are taking it very slowly here right now. What's going to be the breaking point for either side? Huh. Because well... Brepos is going to have his owl out very soon. Hmm. That's a good question. Uh, well, let's see. Bang Mango has six lizards and some defensive structures army-wise. And Black Plastic really has the bulk of the army on uh, uh, their team. Uh, huh. Also, see a couple of skunks on their way, which will help against uh, the squirrels and the rats. I mean, do they have anything to fight off the owls? Like, they don't. They have toads, I guess, to fend off. But they can be easily re the owls. Basically, infinite resource of units for them. And here they go. Bree Post is going to be going for that middle. Warren Cap, the middle mill capture, and this is going to force Levy Dog to try to make an expansion here. He is going to attack with the totes in front of the land there, exploding the lizards like crazy. Bree Post loses a huge chunk of his lizards, but the owl is coming in from the backlands right now. The mines are charging their way across the river here. Machine gun nest and the mines do do their work, however, and the mice is going to be doing it, is going to be taken out. The balloon is there as well, as we forgot to mention here. Bankmo has gotten two balloons up in time, so the slow trickle of mice here may not be an issue but they now have crossed they have now marked down the line between each other and now Bree post to see if he can try to reinforce the position for himself although the mice may be a bit of an issue here uh they're gonna be running out one by one to their deaths here especially because of how close they are to agro range he's gonna have to pull yeah. his owl back so finally josh and repos did break up their little cell there uh, Josh, meanwhile, uh, is, has built all the eight farms in his expansion there in the north. So he has quite a bit of economy power. Uh, he only but... has 18 squirrels, though, so he needs. He might be transitioning into maybe chameleons? Although there's maybe... too, too many. Too much stuff on the other side to really worry about. He could also go for a, a, an owl of his own, which could help. All right, Brie Post trying to swing his units around, but Lactastic Bank Mingle have already read this. They themselves already positioned themselves to the south side of the map here. And Brie Post, it looks like he's going to go for it. He has to be very careful. They have nothing to really kill the toads. And now the mice, they see the they see the prey, and now they're going to march on forward. And Brie Post is going to just retreat here. Just going to leave the mice to their doom. They're stupid mice for just running up ahead. And they're going to he's going to end this one aggression quite nicely. Brie Post does put a balloon up on the field, so now they have their own high ground vision here, but man, this is going to be quite the interesting match indeed. If only either side had ferrets, then this would be a different story, but right now, both sides are going to be playing this one very slowly. The mice are just dropping in one by one. I guess the good news is the mice will allow the explosion of the mines prematurely, but that's not really much of a, much of a thing yeah. to have. Meanwhile, Josh is using his economic power to build two owls, which is gonna really raise the army value of Josh and Repos there. Repos also building his second owl. The uh, problem is, is that Lactastic has built, has transitioned into falcons, into skunks, so he has more than enough manpower to fight off against the mice who can't even damage skunks in the first place. And it looks like Bake Mingo, he found a southern route. He has snakes at his possession here. What can he do with them? Not much, it looks like. He's just going to retreat with the snakes away. He doesn't feel too confident about moving forward with them. But he does have snakes out on the field, which can add up to a ton of damage if the opponents are not careful. This is going to be kind of scary, though. Right now, the thing to worry about is possible starvation for Lactastic and Bank Mango right now. We are past that five-minute mark, so farms are going to be lost as now Bree Post, he's going to use this as an advantage to try to take up as many mills as he can down here. Meanwhile, they've already expanded to the other two mills behind them, so Wobbly Wobbles, they need to find some way to secure that economy. And because of the balloon position from Bree Post, they can't take this one on the riverside. You only have like three possible expansions left, and it's going to be really complicated because this is pretty much where the front line is. Uh, 
it's gonna be worked out for either team. Yep, and right now Josh gonna be taking another mill down to the south now, just again making it a little bit harder for Big Bingo and Lactastic to find that room to grow out their economy. Already, some more farms are dying right now. Big Mango already lost most of his farms on his main base. You know, he's living on seven farms right now. In the meantime, just try and force something, force an issue here. Like Tazic has his fox on the front line here, trying to see how much damage he can do to the enemy right now. Although it's mostly mice he has to contend with. Although they see this nice juicy little mill here, can they do anything about it? However, not quite. It looks like the Shingon Nest positioned a little bit too closely for their likely, for their liking right now, and. At the moment, both sides still content. Both owls are now on the field for jo for Bree Post and Josh, so they have a ton of reinforcements coming their way. But Lactastic does have the units to counter them right now, and my computer is screaming in pain as these two <laughs> units are now going to have a, one, a tussle with each other. Look at the mice just streaming across the river. But the, this allows the skunk to lay down the gas really quickly here. But can they fend them all? The mice are chasing them down really quickly at this point. They are going to be taken out, however, thanks to the toads. The Tails do fed them off for the time being, and now this feel, Lactastic feels a little bit more confident to march his way forward right now. Seeing how much damage he can do, they're trying to lay down the gas. The Lizards and Falcons reinforcing for the backlands right now, and it's an all-out brawl. The Mars are trying to pop, but the gas is now laying down on both sides, it looks like. And Lactastic, he's losing too much of his units right now. He lost all of his skunks. He has five Falcons in play. He lost a lot of his tier one units. In the meantime, Bang Mango loses all his toads. So now they have to run away from the mice. Coming from the south side of the map. In the meantime, all the front lines here. The machine gun that's doing a lot of damage to Lantastic's own units. He only has Falcons now in play right now. His Fox is still alive, however. So he does have that long range distance control here. But a lot of damage has been done here on both sides. And Lantastic has suffered a huge brunt of it. This was uh, really impressive to watch. Um, all the units going at each other. Um, I think Josh and Brepos do have the advantage this time. Uh, they seem to be able to reinforce a lot faster. And uh, Just the threat of the mice alone is enough to just make them run around away from the battlefield. And they don't... They just lost a ton of their AoE control. They have no more skunks. They have very little toads. And Bank Mango, he hasn't really transitioned his army law. He had to sell off his snake warren for something. And he's put most of his money into his lizards and falcons, which Repos have already has already prepared for. He has four skunks on the way to re help reinforce his side. In the meantime, he still has the option to use the boar, but I don't think he can still use boar and skunk together anymore. Uh, yeah, um, I think they did fix like uh, they did allow they do allow a boar, uh, fire, and skunk guests to occupy the same tile. Oh, here we go. Free post feels strong enough. He already tried to attack this line of balloons and machine gun that they do take out one of them. Can they take out the other? The, the comeback is coming out though from Big Mega Lag Task. And response is here. But the gas lay on the front. The lizards can't last long. And now the machine gun nests are down. Balloons are falling down one by one right now. And the mice are just pouring their way through. The Falcons trying to do as much damage as they can. But they're taking too much damage from the squirrels. Josh has so many squirrels on the field right now. In the meantime, the skunks are able to push them back. Free post does have to retrieve his units for the time being. But Josh is advancing from the south side of the map. And is doing quite a bit of damage to Bank Mango's army. It looks like the owls, though, they're almost popped, however, but they do get away just in time. And the Falcons, they're doing as much work as they can possible. The Squirrel Army is going to be taken out from Josh's side. Josh has to go back to replenish his army, and they hold. Wobbly Wobbles hold up this line, but how long can he last? Lactastic is on two farms right now, and he has nowhere to expand safely. Oh, he sees this northern side. He's going to go for it. He's going to bring his Falcons up to the north side of the map here. And just try to take out this expansion here. But so much farm has already been used that I don't think it really matters to Josh if he loses this. It, it's, it is eight farms instantly down here, but that's a lot of time yeah. he's had with this farm for free. Yeah, I mean, he can't really react, so he's losing. In the meantime, this, um... back down back down the south side. They're gonna be attacking again, Josh and Repos. Hopefully I can scroll down here quickly enough. There they go. Right now they're moving on forward with their skunk squirrel and owl army. Right now the Falcons are being taken down one by one on Big Mango's side of the map here. And this four node is gonna be gone. The main base of Big Mango is gone. He still has expansions to work with, however. But again, Lactastic has no farm. He can't reinforce his army, so he has to be very careful. He's gonna be approaching from the north side of the map. 
taking the enemy by surprise as much as possible. He still has a skunk and the fox in play right now. His falcons are doing a lot of damage to Bree Post's army right now. In the moment, Josh is still advancing his way into Bang Mango's side of the map. But it looks like he's going to have to retreat right now. But he has to retreat through the skunk gas that lacked. That was, that was able to put down. His squirrels are taking a lot of damage from this gas at this point. But they're doing enough damage to take out all the falcons. Although his armies now have, and now Le 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 Dog, he has nothing, no farm, no units out of whatsoever, and Big Mango, he has nothing as well. His wards are being taken down one by one at this point. Oh wow, the masses of rats and lizards, oh I'm sorry, scrolls and lizards, and the skunks, they really just plow through uh, Lactastics and Mango's remaining army there. And... I think this is pretty much it, really. And right now, one by one, the mills are going down for them at this point. Bank Mango trying to do his best with little, with little he has. Lactastic, he's gonna go to the north, trying to build a mill up there, see if he can avoid starvation and try to get something, but his partner is gonna be gone very, very soon right now. They're all marching down on his final expansion here. Goodbye, Bank Mango, you are a good friend, and GG is called. Yeah, uh, like Tastic's base up there really didn't even work because, uh, well, he didn't, didn't even have enough food to build one farm, and even then, he won't yep. have a little less. Okay. And there we go, into so. the long game right now, Bree Post and Josh is taking advantage of their position here. Despite the weird position they had in the beginning of the game, there was just no aggression coming out from Big Mango and Levy Dogs inside the map, and I think when it went that late, they realized they could just do it and just transition into the Owls very nicely.